Hey everybody, how are you out there? So today we're gonna to be working on this project that anybody out there can do. It's not gonna be very difficult. You see, when we bought this house, we created this island. When the island was cut down to size that we have right now, didn't really take the time to level it. So we have some walls that are kind of warped. And we also have the problem that when my daughters eat here, they put their feet on here. So we have no real coating to protect it from getting dirty. So today we're gonna to put a really nice decorative finish on this, a very nice, how would I say, like modern twist to this whole kitchen to tie everything together because it is kind of neutral in here with all the white. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. So let's get ahead and get started right now with the demo. I've been putting this project off for a long time, and now that I decided to finally do it, it's Christmas time, so you're definitely gonna see my family in the background, but I promise I'm gonna keep it clean. Okay. I'm really glad that we actually opened up this wall because we noticed that there was a, a bad plumbing connection here that's been, has a slow drip over time, and the wood here is starting to get some rot, and we also have a little bit of mold here on the drywall, so we're gonna be cleaning that up. So we're gonna fix this connection, and we've also already taken care of most of the shims that we had to put in place in order to get this place, well, actually to get the two by fours nice and uh, level. And we'll get this thing sealed up so we can get started with the decorative wall, which is gonna look amazing, guys. It's gonna actually resemble the towel pattern we have over there, so it's gonna tie this kitchen in perfectly. It is Christmas, so I wasn't gonna go ahead and try to look for an open store, so we did what we could here, but it came out good. We just gave it a test with the dishwasher running and it is not leaking. Now everything's shimmed out and we're ready to go. We're ready to put up some sheetrock. So for this part, you're gonna to wanna to cut the sheets down to size. So make sure you take a nice tight measurement. That way you won't have to use that much spackle to cover up the holes. Okay, so what you're using right here is uh, an angle finder. All you have to do is keep it closed like this, hit the on button, and it's uh, set at zero right now. So now when you open it, it tells you the exact angle you're gonna need. So for a corner like this, it's not an exact 95, uh, 90. We need to know what we're working with here. So we've got 132.8. We got 133 almost basically. So we're gonna need to find what half of 133 is and cut that kind of angle on the edge of our trim here. So that way it'll be nice and perfect. It's always a good idea to put a first coat of paint on your trim before installing it or even cutting it. And then when you do install it, make sure you get the corners super tight so you don't have to use that much wood putty later on. We recently got a contractor license in Florida, so we launched Culture Construction. So now when you're looking to buy a home in Naples, we'll not only help you find it, but also renovate it. So now we have to plan our layout. Started with three sections, but I figured that four would make everything look more symmetrical. Also, don't forget the most important part, which is the inner trim, but you gotta get those very tight in order for it to look perfect. And don't forget to fill in the corners and the joints with some pre-fill to make everything look extra smooth. I was having so much fun that even my daughter and my dad got in on the action. But remember, when painting, you always wanna caulk everything beforehand. That way, when you do paint it, it's gonna look amazing with no gaps and it's gonna look super professional. So this is what it looks like with the first coat. It's starting to look beautiful already. Now, as you may notice, we went with the matte black, which wasn't our original choice. We had a dark gray, but it really didn't look right in the room. But this black really tied everything in perfectly with the wall tile, the floors, and the counters. So there you have it, folks. An easy project that you can tackle over a weekend. But if you're not the type of person to uh, swing a hammer or get your hands dirty, then you can contact us. We do service Naples and Marco Island. We'll leave the information down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see future videos from us. And I'll see you next time.